हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू मे बी थिंकिंग दैट वाई एम आई शोइंग यू द फुटबॉल मैच इट्स नॉट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट यू विथ मैसे स्किल बट इट्स दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हेल्प यू टू कनेक्ट योर एनेटमी नॉलेज विथ योर डेली रूटीन फिजिकल एक्सरसाइजेस द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई फाउंड ऑफ हाउ आर मसल्स ऑफ लोअर लिम एक्ट इज द फुटबॉल मैच इन फुटबॉल मैच ऑल आर मसल्स ऑफ ग्लूटियल रीजन थाई calf muscles act together along with hip joint knee joint ankle joint and various other joints to help you to play the match so you may have got the idea of today's topic in this session we will deal with muscles of lower limb specifically the muscles of gluteal region and muscles of thigh we will also see some of the actions related to this muscles that do in a very interesting way related to our routine life so let's get started the muscles of gluteal region they are divided into two group superficial group and deep group the superficial group of gluteal region consists of three muscles the first muscle is the gluteus maximus It is a very large quadrilateral shaped muscle covering most of the posterior side of the gluteal region. The main action of gluteus maximus is the extension of thigh at the hip joint. It is very important for rising up from sitting position and it also maintains the erect posture. The second muscle is the gluteus medius. After removing gluteus maximus, we find a fan-shaped muscle covering the lateral surface of the hip as well as pelvis, and that is gluteus medius. And after removing gluteus medius, we find another fan-shaped muscle that is gluteus minimus. It is covered by gluteus medius muscle. Therefore. we saw three muscles that is gluteus maximus medius and minimus but what's the action of gluteus medius and gluteus minimus they are the chief abductors of thigh along with it the gluteus maximus and minimus helps to maintain the balance of the body when the opposite foot is off to the ground After removing all the superficial muscles of gluteal region we find the deep muscles the first deep muscle of gluteal region is the piriformis piriformis lies below and parallel to the posterior border of gluteus medius below piriformis there comes gamelia superior gamelia superior is a small muscle if we have superior then why not inferior therefore the third muscle of deep group of gluteal region will be gamelius inferior but wait you can spot that between two gamelius we have another muscle and that muscle is the obturator internus obturator internus has a tendon and a fan shaped belly tendon lies in the gluteal region whereas the fan shaped belly lies in the pelvis after obturator internus we find some of the muscles lying under the cover of this muscles and that is quadratus femoris quadratus femoris is seen when we remove both the gamelius and obturator internus and after removing obturator internus quadratus femoris we find obturator externus you can see that obturator externus is triangular in shape and it covers the outer surface of the anterior wall of the pelvis now what are the actions of the gluteal muscles that means what are the actions of the deep muscles of gluteal region they are mostly the lateral rotators of the thigh 
at the hip joint. So all the muscles that we discussed till now have main function of rotating the thigh at hip joint laterally. A quick recap of deep muscles of gluteal region. The first muscle is the piriformis. Below piriformis there lies camellius superior. Then after we found obturator internus. And after obturator internus we have gamelius inferior. Quadratus femoris is also seen superficially. And after removing all of these muscles, we find obturator externus situated deep into it. Coming on to the muscles of thigh. The muscles of thigh are divided into so many compartments. And the compartments are anterior compartment, medial compartment and posterior compartment. Here you can spot all the three compartments marked in different colors. Coming on to the anterior compartment. The first muscle of the anterior compartment of thigh is the sartorius. As you can see that it originates laterally and inserts in the medial side of the thigh, which means it is the only muscle in the thigh which is crossed from lateral to the medial side. The second muscle is the tensor fascia lata. Sometimes it is also considered as the muscle of the gluteal region. Basically, tensor fascia lata is the extension of fascia over the anterior compartment of thigh. It is situated laterally. After these two muscles, we have another muscle of the anterior compartment of thigh which is quadriceps femoris and quadriceps femoris is formed of four muscles. The first muscle is the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is fusiform and its superficial fibers are barbinate whereas deep fibers are straight. Hence it is the fusiform muscle. The second muscle is the vastus lateralis. Vastus lateralis, as the name says, it is situated on the lateral compartment and it is the large part of the quadriceps femoris. And medial to vastus lateralis, there lies vastus medialis. In between both this vastus lateralis and medialis, there lies vastus intermedius. Therefore, rectus femoris vastus lateralis, vastus medialis and vastus intermedius together form the big muscle of the anterior compartment of thigh that is quadriceps femoris. After removing all of these muscles, we find a small muscle which is somewhat A-shaped in appearance. It is known as articularis genu. The main action of all the muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh is basically the extension of knee, which means they are the chief knee extensors. Coming on to the muscles of the medial compartment of thigh. The first muscle is the pectineus muscle. It is a flat and quadrilateral muscle. Pectineus form the floor of the femoral triangle. After pectineus, there lies adductor brevis. Some part of adductor brevis is under the pectineus. And below adductor brevis, there lies adductor longus. Adductor longus is a triangular muscle forming the medial part of the floor of the femoral triangle. Two lies in the plane of the pectineus. And after all these three muscles, we have a big giant muscle situated just beneath all it. That is adductor magnus. Adductor magnus is the largest muscle of the medial compartment. It is also known as hybrid muscle because it has double nerve supply. And beside all these adductors, we have another muscle that is gracilis. 
Now, what is the chief action? As you have seen that all the muscles started with the name adductor. Therefore, the medial compartment of thigh has mostly the adductors of the hip and lateral rotators of the hip. And here we go with the last compartment of thigh, that is the posterior compartment. The first muscle of the posterior compartment is the semitendinosus. It is named as semitendinosus because it is muscular in upper part, whereas there is a long tendon at its insertion. After removing semitendinosus, beneath it there lies semimembranosus. And it is named as semimembranosus because it has flat tendon of origin, which means superficial to semimembranosus there lies semitendinosus. On the medial side of the posterior compartment of thigh, there lies biceps femoris. Don't confuse yourself with the biceps brachii. Same like biceps brachii, biceps femoris also has two heads of origin. One is the long head and another one is the short head. Note one thing that adductor magnus is also included in posterior compartment of thigh or back of thigh. Do any one of you know about hamstring muscles? For knowing the details about the characteristics of hamstring muscles and the muscles included in it, I have given the link in the description box where you can go and check out the full video. But for superficial knowledge, the muscles of thigh included in hamstring muscles are adductor magnus, especially its hamstring part, long head of biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. Wait a minute, we forgot to see the actions of the posterior compartment of thigh. Most of the muscles of the posterior compartment are extensors of the hip and flexors of the knee. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.